Welcome to CERN, welcome to the Large Hadron Collider. The compact muon solenoid is right in front of you in all its beauty. This is the first ever live webcast in 360 degrees and we are in partnership. We are very happy to be with glorious, I fucking love science. So as I said, we are right in the center of the compact muon solenoid, one of the four detectors around the Large Hadron Collider. 27 kilometers circumference, we are right 100 meters below ground. And uh, we are here because collisions are not happening right now. Usually they happen 40 billion times per second. Really in the center of the detector that you are seeing. Uh, you can also see us, by the way. I'm here with Ashana Sharma. Uh, she is a, a guest scientist from CMS. And she is the project coordinator of an operation that we are going to see happening live right now under our eyes, all around the very central point of the detector. So we can be here because uh, it's a unique opportunity because the LHC and all its uh, detectors and also its injectors are being upgraded for a much more performant machine, the high luminosity LHC uh, as of next year and in two years time actually more operational. Arshana, you are the project leader of a fantastic project which is a jewel it's uh, exactly the word we have to apply. It's called the GEM Detectors Project. Tell us about it. Okay, the jewels really are the people behind it, of course. Yeah, we're seeing them going up and down. Absolutely. This, uh, we are seeing actually more yes. people coming up. Uh, yes. But we want to know what's GEM first before talking yes. about people. Absolutely. So the, the GEM is an acronym for Gas Electron Multiplier. This okay. is a new detector for CMS, new technology, and for the very first time, the, these detectors are being deployed in CMS. Which is quite strange because CMS has already made a fantastic historical discovery, the Higgs boson in 2012, and still you now add new pieces to it. Why? Absolutely. I mean, you, have, you just have seen the Higgs, but now you want to study the Higgs, right? Right. And you want to discover new things. Absolutely. You, you want to look for the future. You want to be prepared for it. So you do not want to miss any particle any muon that comes from the collision. So muon, magic word. CMS stands for compact muon solenoid. It's not a hazard. It's not random choice. Why is, are muons so important for your detector? Well, the whole thing that you see in this corner here, that's the nose of CMS. And these nearly thousands of meters squared of detectors are the muon system of CMS. Right. This is very redundant system so that we do not miss and miss out on anything. So and I, muon, I understood muon is right. a particle, but yeah. what is it exactly? Muon is a cousin of the electron. Yes. And any physics decay that happens or any new potential new particle that forms decays into muons. Much of, much of the time when it decays. Okay, so it's a sign of something that has exactly. happened, a sign of a These new particle. These are the signatures. Be yeah. it a Higgs boson or something else, yes, technically yes. a signature you call yes, them. Yes, exactly. Okay, so it's very important that you don't miss any muons because with the, uh, the high luminosity LHC there are going to be much more collisions. So the detector has to be more performance. Absolutely. And it will be thanks to the gems. We are now seeing, look at this. Yes. It's something that is being lifted right. uh, with this crane. What, what is this uh, yellow piece that we are seeing? What you see, the, this yellow frame that has been also uh, moved down from the shaft up there. Yes. Uh, this yellow frame itself is about 100 kilos, which holds the detectors. There are two detectors in there, which form one piece of the gem super chamber. That's uh, 50 kilos, 25 kilos each. So you have one piece of the gem inside the yellow frame. Yes, right. it's, it's one module, we call it like a super chamber module. Super chamber module. Yeah. Amazing. And so it's arriving and there are three of your heroes in your absolutely, team that absolutely. are ready to receive it. Absolutely. Who are they? Who are we seeing? Yeah. So you uh, see the, the engineers are there. There's Stefan, there's Antonio, there's Elizabeth, Mosin and Michele who really are the leaders of this whole operation for installation. I briefly met them before. It's a really dream team. Elizabeth is uh, from America, uh, Mosim is from Pakistan, you yourself are from India, you are his boss. <laughs> and uh, you have a, an Italian, Michele Bianco, who is spending all his time in this cavern. Absolutely. Because how many of these uh, modules do you have to insert uh, into the CMS detector? In total, we have to install 72 modules, which means 144 chambers as such. And on this side, we will install 36. And we are really at the end. The, the end of the installation so a little milestone is coming up so if everything goes well which we cross our finger for this is the last 
first chamber going inside uh, CMS for 2019. Absolutely. Then in 2020, we have to insert uh, a few more. On the other side. On the yeah. other side, because That's the right. detector has a symmetrical structure. Clearly. We're talking about uh, this fantastic team. We, of course, now they're working in shifts. How many people are working on the gems and where are they from? Well, they come from all over the globe and they are working in their laboratories back home. So we are about 40 institutions from 16 countries. And the detectors that you see that are going in here have been made in one of these countries. So we have production sites everywhere. Nearly 10 of them are ready to go. And six of them have contributed to building these 144 detectors. Amazing. And how many people in your, uh, in your project, in your GEM uh, project? I mean, not everyone 100%, but we are about 300 people. 300 people out of the 5,000 that make up the whole CMS collaboration. But now it's your turn. Now you're on the, on the stage and you are performing uh, uh, fantastically so far uh, with this injection. We see it's quite complicated because you have uh, two uh, cranes, one is called the cherry picker, uh, the other is called the scissors. And what are they exactly doing right now that we are seeing the operation happening under our eyes? This is amazing. So you see there are those slots over there. Do you see the slots? The yellow frame will align the detectors right on the slots and there are rails inside that were prepared 20 years ago. Amazing. When, so you have to be really a lot of foresight. Absolutely. And the, there were detectors planned to go in this region and we have to conform to that engineering so that the detectors can actually lock in with the rails and move very gently sliding inside and then to lock uh, them in place. I would like to remind you that we are exceptionally today live from CMS, 100 meters below ground inside the Large Hadron Collider, watching a very delicate high-tech operation under our eyes taking place to make the detector more performant. We are in 360. You can, of course, choose, you viewers, what you want to see. You can see us, very small, me, Paola, from CERN Communications, Ashana Sharma, project leader of the GEMS detector of CMS. But you can also focus, if you want, actually on the best uh, thing that is happening today, Absolutely. the insertion of the GEMS inside the detector. Of course, you can also see visitors under our feet with a guy that is using a loudspeaker. I hope he's not disturbing yeah. our life. <laughs> right. uh, but uh, CMS is huge and a lot is happening Absolutely. at the same time. Yeah. So let's focus back on the gems. By the way, um, you can ask questions, you viewers that are watching now. You can ask questions using the chat space on Facebook, uh, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. And uh, there is a, a team, a special task force of CMS physicists that will answer your questions. While we are going on now with the live, and we are reaching a very, a very crucial point now in the operation. I see uh, they're really focused and uh, indicating what, what are they doing. Yeah. They are trying to align the, the detector so that it goes, moves correctly in the slot. Yes. And once that is finished, they will lock it into position. Then they are going to uh, do all the connections for the services, as we call them, which means that gas will be connected, low voltage and high voltage will be connected. You can see here some people who are working and they are uh, they are also making sure that once the detector is there, it can be powered up and the cooling that is needed to cool down the electronics that's on the detectors. So the team is ensuring that this whole operation concludes in the right way possible with the services intact. Okay, so it seems quite a complex thing to do. Uh, can you describe a, li a little bit the gems? Because we cannot see them in detail right now, but there are a lot of images on the CMS website and Certainly. also on the CERN yes. photo gallery. You can, right. you can look at them closely. It's quite an interesting piece of new technology. It's very precious, as the name says. Uh, it's gas, it's multipliers. Tell us more, more in yes. detail. So essentially it is a gas detector. A gas detector is a very simple device where you have a gas volume and you have a detection element which is sensitive, which means that particularly for the gems, it's a foil. It's a very simple foil made out of capton, which is copper clad on both sides. And holes are chemically etched. Uh, millions and billions of holes are there in the detectors that are in there on, the, on these foils. Uh, How many layers uh, do they have of foils? So we have three foils. We have okay. three foils in tandem so yes. that every foil detects uh, electrons. Once the electrons are liberated in the gas by the muons that go through, these muons are multiplied in each of these holes so that from one electron after the third foil you get 10,000 electrons. I would like to underline the role of these holes. It's not just a hole. It's something very, very, it's a, it's a trick that uh, somebody in CMS invented or 
some technology is invented to multiply the possibility of stripping the electrons. Is that um, right? You have the electrons that are liberated in the gas by the yes. passage of a of a charged particle. Which gas is it? The gas is argon CO2, so no uh, no gas which is uh, toxic or it okay. is uh, flammable. So every or gem is inside a, a sort of a a volume bath of this gas. That's right. So the gas is going flowing through the through the detector and these electrons multiply in such a way that they are able to give us from every muon that passes through we can detect a signal with a large amount of multiplication. So this was not the case before. There was uh, no. nothing around uh, no. in, th in this detector. No. Okay. In this space was left empty because uh, when we prepared CMS, we were not ready with with the detectors of the latest technology that could go in that place. Oh, because this amazing. is very close to the beam line. If you see the beam line over there, it's right in the center where the collisions happen. Right. And the, these detectors are very close to the beam line. Detectors further away are here from a long time, simply because right. the, the particle rate there is less. Particle rate over there is much higher. Maybe it's worth reminding what happens when there is a collision in the middle of the detector right there. Uh, so protons collide at very high energies, so high that uh, the magic of E equal mc square happens. And uh, from the energy of the protons, new particles emerge, among them muons, but also other particles. Absolutely. And then, let us know what happens from there on. <laughs> so from there on, uh, many of the particles inside are uh, detected by the inner detectors, which are very sensitive. You know, the silicon detector, the calorimeter, and, yes. and you have the hadron calorimeter. So these are the first layers around yes. the collision point. Indeed. But the moment, the muon has a particular characteristic that it can go through 10 meters of iron. So that's right. why uh, CMS is very compact, but it's full of iron. And it's 10 meters long. And it's 10 meters long. So Perfect. you are able to detect the muons that c give you a clean signature, a gold-plated signature of anything that's very interesting or of the decays of the Higgs boson. Uh, which we can catch. Which it uh, has already happened in 2012 Absolutely. because what you saw it was exactly the decay yes. of the Higgs boson into muons. Yeah. And mm. now with the gems, what do you expect you can find as a physicist? What would you like to see? Well, the dream would be to first study the Higgs in great detail. Because it's still a mysterious particle, of right? We just had found the Higgs particle, but now we are a Higgs factory. And for high luminosity LHC, this, this factory will work in a uh, production mode where we will get hundreds of Higgses or even thousands or millions of Higgses in fact. So we want to study the Higgs to understand how does it behave, how does it interact, what are the other secrets that we want to unravel for example. And if it, if it has twins and partners exactly. because uh, it might be not alone uh, Mr. Clearly. Higgs Absolutely. inside CMS. Absolutely. So we want to look at the cousins and partners of the Higgs boson in fact yeah. and towards new physics you don't know that you might find uh, candidates for dark matter or you might find candidates for uh, strange particles like Susie or something like there that. There are so yeah. many theories, so many hypotheses to be tested. Absolutely. And only by doing an experiment many times here at CMS, but also Atlas right. and all around the LHC, right. we can really understand what everybody's behind new physics because the physics we know, we know it so perfectly. We know this, this, this theory called the standard model right. uh, as uh, proven so successful. Right. But unfortunately, or fortunately for you, it only explains 5% of the universe. Exactly. And we want to know much more. Absolutely. We want to know everything. Absolutely. Maybe so we will never know everything. But well, at least this is a step in the right direction. And with the new gems, you will be able to at least catch 35% more of the physics that was being lost because of the empty spaces in CMS. And I would like to remind you that we are live in 360 for the first time. So viewers, take this opportunity to, to tour around the detector, look at the fantastic dream team. Now they're going down. I guess the insertion is complete. As uh, Elizabeth, see, yeah. Mosim and uh, Michele Bianco, they're, they've done their job. Absolutely. And uh, what's happening now? This uh, frame remains suspended, Archana? No, no, this frame will be disconnected. As you see that there are some kind of chains that are uh, connecting it to the crane. Yes. So that will be uh, gently taken out the yeah. from the detector. That will be disconnected and then the crane will bring it down. So, so yes. one gem is inside. One gem is And this inside. is the last gem. Amazing last gem. job yes. done. Congratulations to well, CMS. Before wrapping up and closing, I would like to ask you, we've talked about this uh, incredible technology, homemade basically by the CMS collaboration. Absolutely. Uh, there was nothing that we could pick up from the industry and say, right. uh, buy this and insert it there. And so all the pieces were done by university and labs around Absolutely. the planet collaborating with CMS. Absolutely. This uh, is a very interesting aspect because 
all these technologies that developed here have an application outside, in the outside yeah. world. The World Wide Web is a, a, a macroscopic example of this, but CMS has also proven its worth. What, what do you think uh, will come out of this new gem technology that is useful for, for me, for uh, people like me who don't do physics every day? <laughs> well, Paula, I think that it's very important to note that this particular project has demonstrated for the first time in the world that we can build very large size gems. So this detector itself is more than a meter long and half a meter wide. So putting many gems together, we can make large arrays and we can uh, map the pyramids. Ah, we fantastic. can do archaeology with that. Without having to dig a hole and go inside, exactly. you can see I mean, it from the outside. You have the cosmic rays and you can actually make images inside the pyramids. It's a and very, very precise detection exactly. technology. You can do medical imaging. For example, if there is a patient planning for uh, uh, delivering a dose of hadron therapy, right. you need to know where the dose is going with great precision in terms of time and in terms of space. So these detectors can be built to human size and, uh, and placed around a patient. Place Patient. inside a machine so they can really see in a much more precise and much more accurate Absolutely. way than any other diagnostic Absolutely. method so far. Correct. It's uh, just amazing. So from physics to the pyramids and medicine. I think this is a fantastic conclusion because the operation is successfully concluded and Absolutely. we have to celebrate, right? They are waiting for well, us there is lots for a more big to do. celebration. To yes, but say. next year you can okay. continue the work. So uh, Thank you. we are uh, 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 off now. Thank you very much, Arshana Sharma, coordinate, project leader of the GEMS Detector. Thank you to all your collaborators. Thanks CMS and thanks to the viewers. Thank and you. thanks to our great, fantastic partner. I fucking love science. We do love science. And bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.